how to build an emergency fund. Look, crap happens in life. One minute, you're on your way to getting out of debt. The next minute, you're handed a $3,500 bill for your car that must be paid immediately. Hi, I'm Eva. I'm the founder of Fear Search Money, and after two years of unemployment, I'm back in debt. So this channel is about normal ways to get out of debt and to cut through the lies and the misinformation being told to us because you know what? That's keeping people poor. So today we're going to talk about emergency funds. First off, I dislike the phrase emergency fund. We're going to call it a reserve fund. All right. Doesn't that sound better? Like less anxiety producing, like, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I was the one with the $3,500 bill and my reserve fund isn't up to $3,500 yet. So I did have to charge a part of it and it sucks, but you do what you have to do. So building your reserve fund is about more than just saving for the unexpected. It really is about reducing stress and anxiety. Um, you know, having a safety net that can cover any curveballs thrown your way is really like nice. So, all right, so here are some steps needed to set up your reserve fund. One, um, step one, ideally it should be three to six months worth of living expenses. This will ensure you have enough to cover your basic needs in case of a financial step back. Step number two, be realistic with your savings goals. Savings goals and decide how much money you can comfortably save each month and make that a priority. Step three, automate your savings by setting up automatic transfers to the designated account. This way, you won't forget or be tempted to... Uh, to skip over that savings that month, right? Um, while building up your fund, you may need to cut back on unnecessary expenses. And you know what? It doesn't have to be permanent. It can be temporary. Um, step five, as always, find additional sources of income. Look, not everyone can do this, but if you can, do it. You know, maybe over time at work, how about babysitting? Sell things you no longer use. You know what? Do what you can. Should you prioritize a reserve fund or debt payoff? Reserve fund. That's, um, you know, what's the point of paying off debt if you have an emergency and then have to charge it, right? So work on getting a month ahead of your expenses. And after that, focus on debt. Building a safety net is a critical step in financial stability. You know what? Life happens. Be prepared um, and do the best you can. It really is important to get that fund set up. Again, I just got that $3,500 bill. So um, please like subscribe, share, tell a friend, and I will see you in the next video.